Hey guys, Meet Robert Chris Tomer here with this Sunday morning mountain weather update. I want to go to radar first because here's our next storm system moving precip into Idaho, snow into Idaho, northwest Montana. You can see that band of snow headed towards the Teton, so just a matter of time. And some of that is going to swing down through the Wasatch, the high winds, and eventually cruise down into Colorado. Now, this storm system will move through. And then behind it, a very interesting pattern. Pretty exciting, actually. Um, let me just talk about it here on the water vapor. So oranges and reds are your drier air loft, and your moisture is in the whites and the blues, and there's our area of low pressure pushing that precip into the interior states, into the intermountain Rockies. It's got a nice big trough. Now behind it, look how far back the jet actually reaches. All this entire area big fetch on this thing and there's a lot of energy behind this what's going to happen in the extended forecast is roughly around the 20th through the 23rd we're going to get a big trough a big dip in the jet across um, the pacific and, and essentially the west coast as well but it's going to set up the jet in a way and i'll show it to you that i think we're going to see our first atmospheric river surge of the season in fact here is the latest. So yesterday I talked briefly about this. It looked like it was going to be weak to moderate. Now today, it looks like we're definitely in the moderate category. And this is integrated vapor transport. This is how we spot and identify and forecast atmospheric river setups. And this is valid for that San Francisco district, but right up into the Sierra. So it gives you a good idea. We're going to see a moderate, potentially moderate intensity atmospheric river surge coming 1120 through 1123. And that's part of my bullet points here this morning. With that AR coming in 1120 to 1123, it's going to target the Sierra, the Cascades, the high volcanoes of Oregon and Washington. Um, so basically California, Washington, Oregon, all targeted in parts of BC. And as a result, we're going to see some of that moisture overrun and get thrown into the interior states through parts of Nevada, Idaho, uh, Montana, the Tetons. Those areas are going to see a fair amount of snow and overrun from this. And there'll be a little bit left over for Utah and Colorado. Um, so here are the key dates for snowfall as I see them, the snow timeline for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, and Interior BC. So for example, Tahoe, afternoon today into tomorrow, light snow accumulations. And then heavy 1120 to 1121, first surge. Second surge, 1122 to 1123, that's also heavy. And we're going to be talking feet of snow accumulation out of all of this. Um, so how about the other side of this? How about the Tetons? 1118, moderate to heavy, so tomorrow. And then a heavy 1123 to 1124, and then heavy 1125, 26. So that, that's some of that overrun. That's you're benefiting from some of this atmospheric river moisture. Let me take you up to Alta, Utah. And this is the mediogram forecast for Alta. So that's today, Sunday the 17th. There, there is Monday the 18th. There's Tuesday the 19th. There's Wednesday early on the 20th. So there is snow coming down in the snow column here. You've got snow coming. There's a little bit on the 18th. Uh, first half of the day and then there's another shot of snow coming in late that night on the 18th into early on the 19th 1819 so those are the two key days and it's not all that much it's about two to four inches as you can see it's probably two to four inches in most of alta snowbird solitude and brighton with less uh, up around Park City, Deer Valley, Snow Basin. Um, and the winds are going to gust with this uh, up to about uh, 40 miles an hour uh, as this this series, these two series of uh, moisture surges come in. So that's for Alta, Utah, and that's coming up. And then, like I said, down the road, once we get into 1120 to 1123, even beyond that, in some cases, we're going to see additional moisture move in uh, with that atmospheric river surge. All right, let's go to Colorado, look at another snow forecast. So this is Loveland ski area and notice yeah I mean there's kind of like two surges here as well but generally the snow comes in late on the 18th and kind of runs through the 19th especially the first half of the day on the 19th um, and looking for probably two to three inches there as well so very similar amounts Wasatch and also at Loveland ski area a basin Berthoud Pass Winter Park uh, the I-70 corridor Summit County um, so kind of that two to four inch range on the way let me show you the jet stream forecast by close of business today there it is you can see the uh, the trough hitting the pacific northwest that's our storm system there's also a cutoff low down in the uh, the desert southwest coming out of new mexico colorado but again that is really out of phase and it's just barely going to brush northern new mexico and extreme southern colorado on its way through so then we're there we go here comes our storm system 11 18 11 19 cruises through the intermountain then that moves away 
here comes the key setup for the atmospheric river. Watch the jet stream. Look at the look at the the fetch of that jet all the way back towards Hawaii. Starts to set up, and by I mean we're we're in it. 11, 20, 21, 22, 23. We're bringing surges of moisture into the west coast, Pacific Northwest, um, and some of that's carried into the interior. On 11, 23, you've got that that uh, perpendicular jet to the Sierra. Uh, lots of lift there and watch what happens i mean it's just like a west to east conveyor belt 1124 1125 so moisture comes right off the pacific and is thrown into the interior all right looking at the precip the forecast radar and satellite uh, by 5 30 this afternoon there it is by monday morning you've got snow over the teton snow moving into the wasatch high uintas snow through northwest montana snow over the uh, the tahoe area and then by tomorrow afternoon, a lot of the same places, but it's it's definitely snowing Pacific Northwest and a lot of the northern tier. And a little bit of that snow slides through Colorado on 1119, um, and there's a little bit left over in the afternoon. But now look to the west. Here comes our first big storm to usher in this atmospheric river setup. That's Look at the, the spin and the spiral on this thing. Heavy snow all the way up and down the west coast over the high, uh, higher elevations. There's 11.20 in the afternoon, and it just keeps firing over many of the same places. Tahoe north to Shasta, uh, Washington, Oregon. And again, some of that gets blown into the interior. Look at 11.23 in the afternoon. You've got snow through Idaho, Montana. The Tetons are getting clocked. You've got some snow brushing at times. You're right on the periphery of the Wasatch. Then it moves on in, and it sends that energy, that wave, into the interior all the way through Colorado. And there's another wave that hits the West Coast on 11.25, so not done yet. 11.25, 11.26, and another one approaching the West Coast. Guys, this is an exciting pattern. All right, here are my latest numbers. So um, basically all of today through tomorrow, you can see where the biggest numbers are. Pacific Northwest, West Coast, Cascades, Idaho, parts of Montana, the Tetons, um, interior BC. And again, some of that moves in to uh, the Wasatch as well. Two to four there, and eventually some of that's going to slide into Colorado, 1819. So you're just seeing the front end of that. Here's the second period. Now, 1119 through 1126, a lot going on here. In Colorado, you have that initial front, 1819, and then you'll have some second and third type shots coming in once we get the atmospheric river set up. So a lot of that accumulation, central and northern mountains. Looking at 10 to a foot over the top of the, uh, the Wasatch, and potentially a couple of feet over the Tetons. Again, just getting uh, targeting there it looks really good. Uh, Idaho is in great shape, northwest Montana. Um, California obviously, obviously stands out. Anywhere in pink, purple's over a foot. And we're looking at a couple of feet there in my forecast over uh, Tahoe all the way down to Mammoth and potentially significantly more over the top of Shasta. I mean, you're right in line with that fire hose, that flow. Uh, looking at one to three feet up through the Cascades, the high volcanoes, and some nice overrun with about a foot through interior BC. So, this is going to be an exciting period. Our first atmospheric river setup potentially of the season, and it's coming. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. Definitely stay tuned over the next couple of days. I'll keep things updated, and we'll see how this plays out. Take care and have a great Sunday.